Anyway, guys, let's move on to something a little bit more exciting. I want to talk about this because there was a collector that actually shared a photo on Facebook today that I thought was really cool. It was a previous, um, like all the showcases, like all the showcase from Hot Toys announcements. And I thought this was really great. And let me pull up real quick. I don't know if I can pull up uh, the collector's name. Oh, yeah, it was Jurgen Schultz. So shout out to you, Jurgen, for uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but I sure hope that I am. They, these are a bunch of Hot Toys uh, summer showcase announcements that we got as, uh, recent years, right? So I'm really excited to see what uh, what's going to show up in this summer showcase because that should be soon from what people are saying. So I think we're going to find out. Riley, I mean, do you have any predictions? What do you think, bro? I'd love to see a new Terminator. What do you think? That would, that would be pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like <clears throat> you're showing this lineup right here. It, it shows that they do some pretty heavy hitters for these showcases. It's some really nice looking figures. I know that this specific year was was pretty insane with, with the obviously. I mean, everyone talks about it. Me, KG, and Nick have been waiting for months for that Toby and Andrew to be released. When that got released, like I still remember it like it was yesterday. We were losing our damn minds. But um, yeah, predictions. I don't know, man. Honestly, I feel like there isn't a lot of things that I'm like clamoring for from Hot Toys as of recent because they've given us a lot but i'd say one that would be pretty exciting definitely would be definitely a standout would be the 2022 batmobile i think that would be really cool because i know they've been teasing that they showed it at an event a couple weeks ago i think that would just be a really a kick-ass piece to show at an event and uh to, to announce that for pre-order a lot of people have been waiting because obviously all we have is the jazz Inc. one which i actually do have on order with the with the use so he's a great guy awesome dude but if Hot Toys dropped one for, for obviously it's not gonna, it's not going to be the same price. It's going to be a lot cheaper, and it looked amazing at that event. They showed the prototype of it. That would be extremely hype. I'm trying to think of it. Oh, another one that I've been waiting for. That's one that I'd be interested in is the Vulture. I think that would be really cool, dude. That actually would I, be a really good one, Riley. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be good. And also, they showed the, obviously the Michael Keaton likeness with the Batman modern suit, so it shows that they can do a Keaton likeness. So I don't really know why it's been this long without a Vulture. They've shown it like literally like i feel like 15 times at an event they showed a photo saying it's coming soon like a year ago like i i i can't stand that i hate teases with hot toys but oh uh, here we go here we go i can't mark wait for kiko here, mark i'm waiting kiko for kiko to too. do it too yeah exactly i i we have to can't be a stream without talking bad about batman so i know just to mess with you though yeah exactly exactly but yeah i think those two would be really cool and vulture like like i said they've showed it so many times just, just drop the damn thing and oh another thing that a lot of people have been speculating is John Wick figures. I think they might do that. They might do those figures that I think they showed. Um, I forget the I forget the other guy's name, but I know they showed John. Wick. Oh, Kane. Got, yeah, Kane. Kane. Donnie, Donnie yeah. Donnie, so people yeah. have been speculating they'll do that maybe for them. I mean, they have um, Neo here for that other showcase like last year. So yeah, that could be one that could be coming. But yeah, um, should be coming out I think in like a week or two or something. So pretty exciting. We'll Riley, I bet you don't we always see like one Spider Man. One Iron Man and oh, then like always. one or two cool figures, you know? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, they have to put Iron Man. Yeah, it's got to be an, a Neon Tech Iron Man of some kind. But exactly. I hope they do a cool Iron Man. Like maybe they'll remake like a really iconic suit. I don't was well, one haven't they? Because re they remade the seven, the six, the five, the four. You need three. the Mark II at this point. The Mark II? Maybe Mark it's II. that, Kiko. Yeah. What do you think, Kiko? Yeah. Do you think that could be one? What What are you predicting here? Well, it's got to be better than last year because I see five at best mid figures on here. I mean, <laughs> talking about those cotton candy films at the top. Oh my goodness. Here we go. So I see four cotton candy figures. <laughs> I, see a mid, I see a mid John Wick or, or Morbius or whoever that is down Morbius. there. Morbius. Um, <laughs> the, from Neo, sorry. And then two absolute stinkers in that <laughs> arena fet and the Listerine Iron Man. The only thing good on here is honestly Robocop, the Hugh Jackman X Men, and then the Darth Vader. Everything else on there was subpar. So <laughs> the Iron yeah. Man, the Iron Man was pretty dope. That that figure is sick. The Mark, Mark three is three. Yeah, but there's there. we already get enough Iron Man. If you want to do something different, which is what brings me to Showcase 2023. Oh. I want you to go ahead and put this down. I'm, I'm yeah. calling it that Drago's going to bark in just a second again, <laughs> but I'm also calling it. We will see Cal Kestis from Fallen Ooh. Order. Oh, I think we will big. see a Jedi survivor <laughs> or Fallen Order version. Drago, come here. Version of Cal Kestis. And here is my starting to get on my hype train and just my start a campaign. I have been simping hard for Marin. She has really started to grow on me, not just as a character, but as a figure as well. Um, I loved her in Fallen Order. 
And I just finished Survivor as well. Um, so the Night Sister, you know, Marin from there. I think that with Cal Kestis would be absolutely fire. So if you want to throw those on a summer showcase, that'd be good because that's worthwhile. But yes, you'll get an Iron Man, you'll get a Spider Man, and you'll probably get some variant type of things. That might be what the Spider Man and Iron Man are, just some variant colors, things like that. So uh, I would love a Terminator 2. I would love an opportunity if they added to the Pirates line. You know, I would love an actual Barbosa. I know that I'm just really reaching at this point, um, but I think that would be cool. So all that to say is, man, I hope they do better and leave off some of those mid characters because I don't need any of that. Yeah. That, dude, Kiko, even with low bandwidth and a low upload speed, Kiko is still sassy as ever, bro. I can't, he I can't wait till he gets Toby and Andrew and he's going to go, go gaga for him, make his rules. <laughs> as, as, but he's, but it's got candy, I guess. Whatever. We'll you think, see. It, bro? You think, well, Kiko, are you, are you getting these Spider Man figures? I'm sure yes. I will at some point. You know you're I'm gonna not, get these. I'm not, you, got I'm not, the, you got the integrated suit, and that's a cotton candy, and you you loved it. On <laughs> that's because so I needed I the know. base, bro. I needed uh, the base. Oh, the base. Oh, the base. That's what he says. Uh, okay. Yeah, I actually like No Way Home. I think I think Kiko's wrong on this one, but I, I will say that you know I. At least, no at least, way like, I understand the candy I, and the Batman is mid. That's all. Like I mean. Maybe maybe the Batman, okay, I guess. Like other people say, but no way, home, come on, man. Come but on. will yeah. I, last thing I'll say, and I'll shut yeah. up, is that I don't know if you have room to talk when you said Star Wars is okay last week, and oh, yeah. you had, and that you hadn't <laughs> seen true. Indiana Jones. Yeah, uh, right. Last Crusade. So I don't know if you have much standing, bro. Yeah, that's true, bro. <laughs> you uh, you're coming from my nerd credibility here. <laughs> so okay, I, I don't did I use the word okay because people were messaging me about yes, that. Yes, you said. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah, the original trilogy was okay. Damn, Except that's, Empire. That's tough. Empire, Empire is, Empire is said, yeah. And least. you said the Star Wars story that started it all was, it was okay. Yeah, dude. Oh, a New Hope is God. like, it's solid. It's good, yeah. But it's... Yeah. Funny how it changes it's week to week. <laughs> the Bat, the, <laughs> it's solid. Empire, though. Empire. That's a banger right there. Return of the Jedi, I'm not crazy about. I didn't love Return of the Jedi. I was kind of like, mm, it was good, but I wouldn't really watch it again, probably. I, I like uh, Revenge of the Sith more. I like that one a lot more personally. Oh but, yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, I think that's a better film, but I do think Empire is incredible. Empire, pretty much everyone's on board with that one. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. For my predictions, I do. I hope that we're going to get a Terminator. I'm really looking forward to something. Terminator Prime One's already announced their Terminator. Maybe that license is coming back up. You know, maybe Hot Toys is going to be like, okay, it's time to revisit this. Maybe we'll make a, a an Arnold and a T1000, or just a, two Arnolds, a clean and a dirty, or something. I don't know, but. I think that would be pretty cool. I think you're probably right, though. You guys are probably going to get an Iron Man of some kind. You know, there's probably going to be something random thrown in there. You could be right, Riley, about the John Wick figures. That could easily be one or two of them. Yeah. Um, sure. You know, but on this list, there's some pretty good ones. I mean, the Iron Man Mark III is great. The Spider-Man figures. The Darth Vader is obviously the number one here, I think. Um sure. Because that dude, that Darth Vader figure, that's gonna break the internet when that releases. So right. yeah, and Robocop yeah. was super different. So like you said, you might be Robocop, the Terminator. That'd I know a lot of people were excited about that Robocop. This is even though it's not everyone's favorite Robocop film, it's still a Robocop. So right, Neo right. though, no one cares about that. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah, no. if that were if that were Neo from the original film trilogy, then right. sure, people would maybe care. Morbius might be more popular than Neo. Who knows? That's that's a good question, bro. Good. That's a good. We should make that a poll, actually. Yeah, yeah, do it. That's actually a good question. I'm gonna predict though an Iron Man, a Spider Man of some kind. You'll probably get maybe the John Wick Riley mentioned, and I hope a Terminator. I'm gonna predict a Terminator. 